Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. It seems we have a few missives to go through today, so let's get into them. As you should already be aware, we have received fantastic news. Your Marines seized a smuggler's vessel and one very fishy Frenchman. Another large cargo transfer under heavy escort is expected in a matter of days. We have two opportunities here. First, we have the coordinates of the meeting point, but it will be a tough fight. Second, we could send a reconnaissance force of infantry to locate where the rebels are going to store the expected cargo. Of the two options, one is obvious. I'm a Royal Navy officer and we will fight at sea. News from the Europe Herald, our army has retaken the town of Savannah, Georgia. Carefully prepared in secrecy, the expedition under the command of the Honourable Admiral Clark Gayton suddenly fell upon the rebels in the most important southern port of the American colonies. Possession of this city will allow the loyal subjects of His Majesty King George to protect our colonies from further encroachments. The attack was led by the same lieutenant from Richmond that we have written about previously. Here in London in the editor's room, we are sure that this is not the last we will hear about this brilliant officer. In other news, the so-called President of the Rebels, John Adams, secures recognition of the United States as an independent government by the Dutch Republic. During this visit, he negotiates a loan of 5 million guilders. Today's mission, Major Jeremy Fisher is a loyal colonist serving in the so-called Continental Army, providing us with important intelligence on the Rebels. However, his role has recently been revealed and an extraction mission was planned to bring Major Fisher back to New York. HMS Blackpool was secretly sent along with a small task force to pick up the Major. It seems that the Rebels knew about our plans and set an ambush for the task force. While you were sailing by the coast of Georgia, an urgent message arrived. The men of HMS Blackpool along with Major Fisher have been caught in a deadly trap. They have been besieged by rebels at Fisher's house for two days. They are surrounded, suffering heavy losses and running low on ammunition. You need to send some ships to break the siege and help our men. And we'll set the difficulty at no peril, no glory. So we're going to take nearly all of our ships, as many as we can take. All of the ships with the highest amount of crew and soldiers on board. So, Arrogante, Royal George, Falcon, Salamander. No, maybe not Salamander, she's inexperienced. We'll go the three transports full of soldiers. And away we go. Captain, you've arrived on time, but there is no time for delay. Land your troops and advance to Fisher's house. The, rebel, the rebels have started another attack and they can't hold much longer. Make haste, Captain, and get our men out of there. Okay, Arrogante, full sail. Get as close to the shore as we can, then we'll drop boats. We'll speed this up a bit. No need for fancy tactics yet. We've got one hour in game time to get there, so we really need to hurry up and get the boats up onto the shore. This seems to be close enough. We'll drop the boats now. Everyone's going aboard. We're not sure what we're going to face. A little bit finicky on the micromanagement there, but we have enough time to get everybody onto shore before the next boats rock up. Alright, Arrogante has unloaded her troops, so we'll move her out of the way. Up next is Royal George deploying all the Marines. Drop the boats on the shore and get Royal George out of the way. Falcon probably needs to get a little bit closer. We'll go full sail to speed the process up. My merchant ships are coming in. They're very slow, so they're going to take a little while to get close enough. For now, the Marines and the Sailor contingents will have to hold out. And then we'll have everyone anchored up with a bit of a firing solution on the beach. Falcon is almost at the disembark point. We'll drop them in now. They can row a little bit further. Work on their endurance. And then we'll just anchor her up there. Merchant ships are probably still another minute or two away. 
First boats are reaching the shore now. Boats are deployed from HMS Falcon. It's a little bit fiddly trying to select them all. It's much easier to just to grab them and then deselect the main ship. Painfully slow little things. It's probably quicker to row. First boats are arriving. The men are marshalling. Seems we do have contact in the town. A couple of regiments of riflemen and skirmishers harassing the fisher's house. Get these boats on the beach. Jarvis, our lieutenant, hero of the story, is leading the way. We'll keep him surrounded by soldiers. Well, there is actually a lot there. Okay, this is not a good idea. We are a little bit outmatched at the moment. We need probably need to wait for our real army. Try to marshal them into divisions just to make it easier to micromanage them and help their morale. 250 is the maximum in a division. They have to be from the same ship, I believe. Oh, one of our... Someone's officer has been wounded. All right, the merchant ships are close enough. Time to get the soldiers into the boats. Anchor up. Our remaining boat contingents are landing on the shore. We have couple of divisions, not very strong, and the Fisher's House seems to be under a lot of pressure. We have 30 minutes to get there. This might be a little dicey. I should have put the transport ships at the lead of this formation so they could get the, the real army on the boats quicker. Get these guys into the fight. We, oh, we're getting shot by artillery from that ridge line. This is not a good look. This will be our first difficult fight against the United States. The fledgling United States. They've only just been recognized by the Dutch. So what are we going to do? Fisher's house are running out of ammunition. They now won't be able to fight back. We really need to hurry. Form up these extra divisions that have just landed on the beach. And we need to engage this militia. First of our Fusiliers and Grenadier teams are on their way to the beach. And we have a supply wagon, which probably won't be too useful in this battle. I mean, we could resupply the skirmishers if we, uh, the fisher's house, if we ever get to them. Forming up somewhat of a semblance of a line now, but we are really outnumbered. And those militia units are pushing very close. Doesn't help that they have cannon on the ridge line, which is going to really affect our morale. Don't really have the troops to spare to push up there and try and counter them. Fortunately, one of the militia units have routed due to their poor morale, but Wallace, our MVP from last mission, and his contingent of Marines are taking a fair amount of casualties. You can see he's got a lot of experience. He managed to hold off a flanking maneuver on his unit in the last battle. If you didn't see that, you should really check it out. It was a fun battle. Taking the town of Savannah. Our final infantry is starting to ro arrive on the beach. The Fisher's house are completely out of ammunition and they're just being picked off from the ridge line and the tree line over there. We are whittling away these militia. Their morale is not too good. We have had a sub-lieutenant wounded in battle. Those militia have broken, fortunately. Our superior training and morale, and also weaponry, holding the day in that case. 
Now our real infantry are arriving. The purpose-built infantry. We have got the supply wagon there as a backup. Wallace is going to push up this ridgeline and try and take this artillery down. We should really give him support, but we can't really afford it just yet. We need to get to the Fisher's house in the next 12 minutes. And it looks like they are crumbling. Major Fisher is in trouble. Less than 50 men remaining in his contingent. We need to really push the house. Wallace will lock down the artillery. They shouldn't be able to fire too much on him from that angle. Infantry are landing on the beach. The first of our marine divisions are engaged with the militia. Unfortunately, we don't get the flanking maneuver because Major Fisher has no ammo to fire back. So we get that initial shock and then they'll turn around and fight us. One of the militia units did crumble though. That's looking good. If we can push around and try and hit this rifle regiment here on the right. And Gwyneth's militia can be taken down by our marine division there. The large numbered 289 men. These militia on the northern side are starting to reform. Wallace isn't taking any more casualties since he's hiding behind that ridge line. He's going to push up now towards the artillery unit. Our fusiliers will now become the new front line and we should be able to clean up. They are fresh men besides their road to shore. The marine divisions have held true. We have taken a injury. Second Lieutenant Rose has been shattered. I'm thinking that's the people in the town, in the Fisher's house. We have five minutes to capture the house. I'm not sure what's happened to Major Fisher. He must be hiding in the town. The enemy have captured the Fisher's house. This is looking bad. We could actually fail this mission. The 2nd Georgia Rifle Regiment have made a desperate charge at our division. They're knowing they're outgunned. And they have routed and been captured. Surrendering to our forces. The 10th Company of the 2nd Rifle, uh, 2nd Georgia Regiment are pushing forward. They have a large amount of men. They are backed up by skirmishers. We're going to push our divisions of fusiliers around the flank. Taking out Gwyneth's militia. The 10th Company are really pushing close. trying to eliminate they're trying to eliminate us probably trying to capture back their friends but their morale too now is wavering, wavering under the fusillade from our fusiliers captain we've managed to break the siege but more rebels are on the way retreat to the coast and evacuate your men back to the ships their guns can provide supporting fire when you're ready use the finish button Wow, the guys are pretty happy. They're all yelling. <laughs> I could barely hear myself think over that. All right, we need to get everyone back to the boats. And then back to the ships. Try and form these guys up a little bit. So they can accept the troops as they are coming back to their boats. We also need to turn Aragante around. But we need to be mindful that she will do a lot of friendly fire. Skirmishes are pulling up hard behind us. I don't really want to commit any troops to a rearguard action. Wallace managed to take down the artillery up on the mountain, I think. He did take some losses, but they have been defeated. Some of our units are running low on ammunition. Make sure everyone's anchored up and not at sail. A little bit hard to maneuver the ships. Because I have had them all congested. I didn't think to, about having to have to retreat so hastily. Bring the Whitby up. She's the large transport. She has some extra troops. If we need to, we can deploy them. It doesn't look like the artillery was taken down, but they have taken losses. So we'll send a different division up to fight them.
try and charge up the mountain. This might be futile and dangerous, but it could also pay off. They don't have any ammunition or they're low on ammunition. One of our units of fusiliers has committed to a rear guard, but we better pull him back now. He's starting to get surrounded. Double time it. Ah, now the micromanagement here is getting a little bit hasty of trying to maneuver ships for naval support and for boarding and they seem to be taking off down downwind. As long as we get everyone into the boats, we should be able to get out of any firing danger. But we also don't know how many of these troops are going to be coming. That division managed to take down the cannons. There's no time to acquire them for ourselves. We need to we need to run. They are very low on stamina. We need to form up a defensive line ready to file our troops into the beach and then into the boats. Wallace is fairly low on troops. We'll get him into the boats first. The supply wagon is useless at this point, so we need to get it back onto its transport. First of our troops are returning to the beach now. We will get the prisoners of war onto the boats first, so they have no chance to be recaptured. And we'll take our strongest military units that didn't really see combat and we'll set up our defensive line. This Fusilier unit is being very brave, holding the line. But it's now their time to run. They have, they have about 35 kills, which is pretty good. Our boats are really just doing whatever they want. They keep hitting sail. All right, the first, first supporting fire from HMS Falcon has put friendly fire all over her division. Their intentions are good, but we need to... All right, here comes the enemy now. We're in a little bit of strife. We need to pull back our weaker divisions. The ones that have already seen combat. going to push a line forward a little bit just to try and stall this advance. I am wasting time here. Boats are getting further away. Division has made it down onto the beachhead. Aragante keeps coming about. Every time I give her a move order though, she's, she doesn't want to stay where she is. Oh, Gwyneth's militia is really pushing into the Fusiliers. They've charged in. They have a lot of fire support. But our Fusiliers are quite good in combat. We have good weapons and great training. It's time to get them out of there, though. Alright, orders into the boat. Significant amount of men trying to push that western side. We're going to speed it up a little bit here. Try and get our retreat underway. Alright, we can finish the battle, apparently. Okay. I was hoping that would just go, okay, thank you very much, bye. Nope, there's more. And the fight still continues. In previous missions, once it says finished, you can just get out of it. I was hoping for that, but nope. The rebels want our blood. All right, so our prisoners of war are underway. Get this division into the boat. It's a little bit finicky which boats are mine and which ones aren't. Because some of them were placed here by the AI. There we go, get them into that boat. Get them into that boat. These fusiliers need to go forward and hold the line a bit. Form up a new line. One of our fusilier units has been badly damaged and is now routing. One, our grenade, grenadiers have charged into the fray. They are excellent in melee, but I think they're really outmatched in that fight. These divisions really need to get into the boat. Hurry up, why are you not getting in the boat? A militia unit has made it onto the beach. 
They are taking ship fire though. Oh, I have to break the division first. Oh, okay, that is a pain in the butt. Get in the boat. We don't want to lose our lieutenant, Jarvis. Fortunately, we do have our frigates and the Whitby as well firing on the beach. They have managed to break that militia that made it onto the beach. And we also have to keep in mind that we have ships inbound as well to fight. And none of our ships have crew on them. Breaking up these divisions is a pain in the butt. But we'll do it, we'll do it. Everyone is out of ammunition that's on the beach. Our fusil our grenadier unit has taken significant losses, is now routing. The rest of the line is holding strong though. That's giving us enough, enough time to get our ship's crews back in the boats and get our fighting ships back to fighting order. I could slow it down, but I'm not going to. We'll take the challenge as it is. This side here, the southern side of that flank, is really being pushed. It's time to retreat. That is a futile exercise. Most of our crews are in the boats now. It's just a matter of getting the soldiers in. We will take some losses on the retreat. But that is just an unfortunate side effect. We're going to pause it here. Make sure I can get everyone ordered in correctly. Our infantry is really expensive, but our ship's crews are priceless and we need to get them in. We've worked really hard the last few missions to get our experience up. We don't need it diluted with lost officers and experienced seamen killed. All right, let's go. Let's see how it goes. We have a lot in the boats now. We've really only just got our infantry units that are holding the rear guard. Ship's crews were first in, so they can be first out. Alright. I'm going to have to just put them on whatever, whatever. As long as we're back on a ship, we can work out where we're stationed afterwards. I'm just going to stack as many crews as I can onto Aragante, because she's our linchpin of defense and attack. But my options with the infantry are limited. The boats seem... Some boats let me take them, others won't. I think that's looking good. The rebels, they really, they've surprised us. Every fight we've had with them has been relatively simple while we've just curb stomped them on the ocean. They pulled out all stops to get Major Fisher. The last of the ship's crews are getting in and the Continental Army is really pushing us onto the beach. We're running out of options to put the, the men in. There we go, the Fusiliers are on board. This last Fusilier unit. The Grenadiers got one boat. Oh no, one, we're probably going to lose one unit of Fusiliers perhaps. There aren't any boats left for them. The Grenadiers are probably going to have to... Yeah, Grenadiers are going to take the ultimate sacrifice. Fusiliers have more men, unfortunately. Grenadiers have the the morale to deal with this. They are wavering now, seeing that they're last of their compatriots entering the boats with none left for them. So I guess we managed to survive that that brutal attack. We did lose a lot of men. I, I can't tell you how many we've lost, but it felt like a lot. We lost at least two full units of infantry. Aragante is starting to take on crew. Getting some revenge now that the guys are back on their ships. Whitby's being blown about and she's running into the boats. Got a bit of chaos here. The militia are running up the beach and just getting peppered by all of our guns. Now all of these warships here are now stuck so far downwind that we can't really can't really get back to take men on board. So everyone's just going to have to go where they can. Whitby is almost full. Monarca is a troop transport, so we don't want to put too many experienced crewmen on there. 
Just keep filling up the Aragante. She's got a big, big crew complement. 600 men. Can you take more? Take more. Blackpool is stalled in the wind. She's blowing hard northerly. Transport ship is going to have to take, take some crew. Fusiliers are getting on board. Next wave of infantry. And the last of the boats, I think. Yeah. So we still have six boats left there on the beach. I have a feeling that we did lose a few men. All of Major Fisher's men died in the town. He must have hid underneath his cottage or something. <laughs> because we don't actually have his unit with us. Alright, the wind has changed now. It's going northwest. That's perfect for us to get away. Now we have 30 minutes to eliminate the enemy fleet, which... Now that we're fully stocked back on our ships, we should be fine. Those warships to the north have no crew in them. Just skeleton crew. Whitby and Aragante and Monarca have nearly everyone on board. These last units of fusiliers probably won't fit. We're going to have to bring these ships up to get them on board too. We're literally full. So you're going to have to row a little bit harder, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. We didn't plan to retreat. We planned to reinforce and then hold the line. An orderly extraction. So these boats are going to have to row all the way out to Blackpool. She'll try to meet them halfway. But she's about to be intercepted by these ships from the US Navy. Aragante is moving hard to intercept. But these infantry are going to have to... Oh, they're going to have to row all the way out to the troop transport. Triferante. We've got a wounded officer on board that boat. They need to get some medical attention to him. Blackpool is also a transport. So she's not going to be any good to fight these guys coming in. Royal George can... She's only 30 men on board on a 46-gun ship. <laughs> they could probably fire one gun between them. And the Fusiliers aren't going to be any good as a crew for manning stations. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Right, first contact is about to be made. I'll be interested to see the reload time on Royal George's guns. They are upwind of us as well, so they have a range advantage. And now we've got to get the troop transports away from the danger. Double check there was no stragglers on the beach, but they are well and truly done for. HMS Falcon has 40 men on board. Fusiliers are still furiously rowing. <laughs> Troop transport in the stern of the formation has opened fire. Triunfante. She does have a lot of men on board. So, if they try to board her, she will be able to put up a fair amount of fight. Aragante, I'm going to use her to split these, this formation up. Get the sloops away from their escorts. Now, that merchantman did a fair amount of damage. That's one of the captured Spanish treasure ships. So, they are armed pretty well. We need to deploy some of our 
ships, uh, some of our officers off this boat and put them onto Royal George. Infantry about to load onto their troop transport. Arrogante took everybody. So we've got everyone's compliment on board her. Now that the danger's really passed, we can afford to get everyone back onto their proper stations at least, where they can be of more use. Yeah, Royal George has no officers on board. So she can fire off the starboard side while she takes on crew on the port side. And her efficiency will go right up now. We've got three officers out of four on board, as well as their crew complement. Two troop transports are safely underway. They do have a couple of our ships, warships complement. But I'm not too concerned. Royal George and Aragante should be fine to take the rest of this fight. It's a matter of whittling them down now while we charge headlong towards USS Falcon and USS Freedom. Try and split these two down the middle. Royal George has stalled because she's waiting for Aragante to make her maneuver. Try and break through before this sloop gets across our bow. Oh, we can finish the mission. We didn't even have to eliminate them. So despite the mission being chaotic and what seemed to be a loss, we actually came out in front. We did deploy 4,500 men and we lost 880, but the Continental Army took a higher casualty rate. We didn't lose anybody and we captured a couple of ships. So all in all, it was a victory. We did achieve our goals. We did lose some men, but that's just how it goes. If you've enjoyed so far, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Commander Tyrael, out.